counseling. So in order to quick draw, you're going to have to draw quickly. And in order to draw quickly, you're going to have to have a fast reaction time and good reflexes. So I suggest you go on one of those websites that will test your reaction time. And you just keep doing it until you're fast enough for your own pleasure. I'm so good. Wow, I can dramatically feel my reflexes increasing. Try to beat that. Bet you can't, nerd. Uh, so I'm not that fast, okay? I'm a little, I'm not that all right, so since I have a gun, I feel obligated to give a disclaimer and also a quick safety course. So, let's get down and do it. Do not ever, ever point a gun at anyone ever, okay? Ever. Got it? Good. You gotta pretend like it's always loaded. Oof, wow, this gun sure is really heavy from all the bullets it has in it. Wow. Wear ear and eye protection. This is an old method that cowboys used to use when they were in shootouts to protect their ears and their eyes. It works out really well. Keep your safety on until you're pointed at a target. Make sure you're in a safe place to shoot. Well, it isn't a saloon or a dusty old town, but I mean, it'll do. Double, triple, quadruple check. You took all your bullets out when you're done. 568,012, 568,013. 568,014, I got all that out of the way. Another good thing to keep in mind is that it's different for every gun. Let me show you how mine works. This has multiple clicks, it's single action, which means that you have to pull it back before you pull the trigger and it'll go forward. The one click back is the safe mode, meaning that if you bump it, it probably won't go off and shoot your leg. It might, but it probably won't. Two clicks, you're able to put rounds in and take them out with this little rod here and you can freely twist it. You pull all the way back, and now you're ready to pull the trigger and fire after you turn off your safety. Like I said, it's different for every gun, so just make sure you know how yours works. If you wanna know how to quick draw, you're gonna to have to go for your basics first. Practice pulling your gun out and cocking it with the palm of your hand. Pull it out, the palm, the meaty part of this hand, press that down. And then being able to release it back in like that is a good skill to have. You just hold it down, hold the trigger down, and you slowly move your hammer forward until you do the one click again, and that's as safe as it gets. <laughs> you just practice, start getting good at drawing it and cocking your hammer back. I missed the hammer. It's good to do it to a uh, like a whistle or something, something that'll get you to to go at a certain time. I played lacrosse for a while, so I have face-off whistles. It's this guy, he just says like, down, set, 
and then he whistles. So when he whistles, you just go I think you can also probably find quick draw actual videos that are specifically for it. I don't recommend pulling the trigger and dry firing it. It's not good for your firing pin. If you need to, then I think it's better if you put spent shells in your gun. Spent casings. On single action guns, if you hold the trigger down, you keep pulling it, and then you just put this down and you go it up. That's how you fire the most rounds the most quickly. I'll dry fire a couple rounds just because I gotta show you. You hold your trigger down and you go, you just slap it down and you let your hand off. Slap it down, let your hand off, it'll hit it every time. I'm gonna fire as many bullets as I can. Just try and get rid of them as quickly as I can. Or the, I didn't release the hammer fast enough. I slapped down on it, and then when it flew forward, my hand was still stuck on it, but it didn't fire. I'll take another shot at that in a second, but this is how you remove the casing. Oops, quick spent one out. And then there's a little thing right here. And that goes up like that, it comes right out for you. Pretend we got a beep going. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. All right, now it's getting guns spinning and doing tricks with it and stuff. Common misconception is that you're gonna be doing it like this. You stick your finger all the way through there. You're not. No one ever does that. I mean, there's like one thing you can do. You can do like this. That's that's fun, I guess. But Eddie, if you're not supposed to put your finger all the way through it, then where are you supposed to do it? Well, I'll show you. You want to put it through like that far, about there. That way, you can get it. You go both directions comfortably. And you have a lot of control over it. Eh. So you got your gun. Just put your finger in the trigger as it is right there. Make sure it's unloaded, please. And then you release. So now you have it right here. Now just practice, just putting it in your hand. You just push up with these fingers. And that's it. And once you got that down, you can practice doing this. From, from holding it again, like there, you roll it forward, and then you catch it. Sometimes you'll need to keep the momentum rolling with these fingers. See, I probably did there. I just do this, and that. This, and that. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Eventually, you can start doing backwards as well, in which you put it like this and then you throw it back. <laughs> you got to complete a spin past your hand. It spins basically all the way around like this, and then you just catch it as it comes there. And eventually, you can start getting fancy. You just like can keep going back and forth, or. Make sure you practice with both hands, otherwise you'll look stupid. And you can, while you're doing these, you can learn how to flip it into your other hand. Oh yeah, you want to try and catch it as much like this as you can, with your finger in there. Uh, if I had bullets in here, I probably would've killed myself a couple times by now. Always practice on a soft surface so you don't break your gun. If you're starting to feel like you're too good for this video, there's a good chance you are. But let me make you feel worse about yourself. Now start trying to throw it over your shoulder like this. You can hold it either this way, or you can throw it back this way. Whatever way you get the best spins out of it. Here we go. Ah, I'm gonna really break my gun. Just do it onto your bed. Just do it on your bed. I got my bed right here, so I drop it and it's soft and nice and cushy. Right this way. Yeah. 
Dang it. Ow. Oh, that's not the bed. Okay, what does over my shoulder even mean? Like this? Yeah, maybe. That gives me a lot of time. Bad. Okay, that was good. Just gotta recreate that one I just did over and over again. I need to stop being such a baby about it. I can't be bad forever, can I? Oh. My hands hurt. I got a better grip now. On the wrong side of the gun. If I throw it like this, and it's just gonna spin like this. I don't wanna catch it like this. So I should throw it like this, right? And then it'll spin like this. And then maybe I can catch it like this. Yeah. that forward momentum. Okay, that's better. We're getting there. Oh. Throw it far enough forward. A little longer than a few minutes later. Got it. Ow. <laughs> well, that's that then. I guess I figured it out. So, only one thing left to say then. Subscribe or die. Mm -hmm. Go on then. Subscribe. Yeah, I'm killing you anyway. There we go.